Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to an Edited Fitness. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Sandra. And from the title of my video, guys, I post um, workout videos. I know I haven't posted one this year, but yeah, so yes. Yeah. So my workouts are usually, I'm not going to say they're unedited, but they're usually raw, okay? You guys are going to get the good, the bad, and the ugly. You guys are going to watch me struggle through my workouts. Um, you know so yeah so that's why i decided to name my channel editor fitness so to start off this new year i decided to go ahead and answer some fitness questions guys like this is my first time doing this okay so bear with me so i had to go online and i just googled up some fitness questions which i can um answer for you guys and yeah just so that you guys can get my own take on this quite um my own perspective like how i see things since i've been working out for quite some time now so without further ado i'm gonna answer this question so guys so the first question on the list is is working out in the morning better for you um to answer this question guys to be honest i'm gonna go like i'm gonna use me, me as an example so i do work out in the morning and i notice that when i work out in the morning i tend to have energy to working out okay it kind of gives me that that pump you know it kind of keeps me awake so i'm able to go about my day after working out you know um with so much energy so i'm going to say that it just depends some people um you know like working out in the evening for me working out in the morning is better so yeah again whatever works for you guys there's no rule that says that you have to work out in the morning just make sure that you do it okay so the second question is should i approach my sessions with a plan <sighs> always have to approach your workout sessions with a plan always have a plan always know what you're going to do at the gym because number one um the reason why you always want to have a plan is because it's going to keep you on track okay and i feel like you're going to see much better results when you have a plan than when you don't have a plan okay you have to first of all before having a plan there are many things that you have to think about like what is your goal like that's the ultimate question what is your goal what are you trying to achieve um are you trying to get stronger are you trying to build your endurance so what is it that you're trying to do okay and um once you have your goal in mind then you can go ahead and come up with a plan an effective plan that's going to help you to see results and it's going to help you to stick to it because there's no there's no point of having a plan if you can't stick to it guys so yes having a plan definitely helps and i need to have a plan myself okay so yeah the third question is do i need to work out every day guys absolutely not okay you don't need to work out every day because guys <clears throat> i get it we're young we're young now we agile like we have the energy to work out but we also have to think about the future okay because it's not always going to be this way so you want to preserve you want to preserve your, um, I would say, your ligaments for as long as you can. So definitely have rest days, guys. You can't work your body out every day. Like, it's not sustainable. You're definitely going to give up real quick. So now I'm going to say it depends, okay? Because someone like me, I can easily work out five days or six days a week. It just depends what my schedule is. That's why, you know, um, the previous question that said, do you need to have a plan before working out now this is where a plan this is where having a plan you know is going to be beneficial for you because if you have a plan okay it's going to ensure that you're not tasking your body a lot for example let's say mondays is your full body workout days check perfect tuesdays you can do let's say legs okay you can work your legs check wednesdays you can do your upper body check thursdays you can focus on your abdominal muscles on your core muscles you know you can you know just um you know try to work your core muscles they're very very important or if not on thursdays you can you know try to perfect your moves for example you can work on your squats you can work on your lunges you can work on your you know while incorporating some ab workouts okay check now on fridays you can use fridays as again you can add um do another you know high intensity interval training or if not you can always do low low intensity interval training okay it doesn't always have to be hoo, hoo, and you know no like you can turn it down a bit okay so you can do that on fridays so yes having a plan 
you can easily work out like six days a week to be honest but i always say always have that one day that you don't work out you can stretch guys i'm going to advise you to stretch okay like stretching is a very very good for you even on your non-workout days just have it a habit just make it a habit guys i'm saying this i'm saying to myself because i do this sometimes which is not good like i need to you know make it a habit so try to stretch every every single day even if you're even if you're not working out guys the benefits of stretching um are endless so yes so that's my question so um how long do i need to work out for guys i can say a five minute workout is as good as not working out okay so there's no set time that you can work out for um that you have to work out for i'm going to say that at least guys at least make it 20 minutes like just 20 minutes is not something that you can't make out like in your day like 20 minutes we all have 20 minutes you can easily just sit down and scroll on your phone and before you know it 20 minutes is over and you might as well be using that 20 minutes to work out so i'm going to say there's no set um time that you have to work out for i'm going to say at least 50 minutes at least 20 minutes but if you can do 10 minutes guys is better than not doing anything you can, you can even do five minutes you know you can just choose an exercise and do it for the whole five minutes like without any rest you know so yeah so there's no set time that you have to work out for in my opinion okay do i need to vary my workouts to see results some people say you don't have to switch up your workouts you can do the same workout and maybe just increase the repetitions increase the sets and you know with that with that manner but for me i'm going to say that it's always good to switch up your workouts it's always good good to try something new like you don't have to be constantly switching up your workouts guys like you can decide to add a new workout let's say you know every two weeks or every month you can decide to add a new workout okay no let's just say every two weeks you can decide to add a new movement you know i just i just say like challenging your body you know like you just for me i'm going to say that um something like push-ups is something that i struggle with so i have to vary my workouts in such a way that i try my best to do some push-ups because that's something that you know i'm gonna really feel good if i can do like at least five push-ups without without resting you know so i'm going to say yes very varying your workouts like it's really really beneficial for you um not only are you going to be working different kind of muscles but again you know you just try something new like nobody wants to go in there and be doing squats every day or doing push-ups or doing you know pull-ups or doing bench presses how do i get a six-pack guys <laughs> getting a six-pack is as easy as dropping down your body fat percentage now i don't care how much muscle like all of us have a six-pack believe it or not we all have a six-pack now what is stopping you from seeing that six-pack is your body fat percentage now the lower your body fat percentage the more and visible that your ab muscles are going to show the higher higher your body fat percentage you know it's just gonna be hard to see those those muscles that you've been working working hard for in the gym so so i'm going to say that having six pack muscles just you know um to get a six pack simply means that you have to drop down your body fat percentage meaning that you have to work more on your diet you know it all boils down to your diet to be honest like you have to clean up your diet more more or maybe you have to reduce the amount of calories that you eat so everything it just depends so i can't really say until until i see what you're doing and i you know and see how you're going about it but yes it's very possible for you to see your ab muscle your ab muscles um you know by simply dropping down your body fat percentage so the seventh question is what type of training do I need to do to increase muscle mass? Guys, if you want to increase your muscle mass, um, the amount of muscle mass you have, you have to lift more weight. So the more weight you lift, um, the more uh, your muscle mass is going to increase. Okay, so you have to lift heavy, not just, I'm not talking about 10 pounds, guys. Like, you have to go heavy. Again, listen to your body. But again, it's about progressive overload. You have to... You have to up those weights guys don't get comfortable okay if you want to see those muscles if you want to tear those muscle fibers like you have to 
up the weight okay and lower the repetition so i'm going to say in order for you to build muscle and to see the muscle you have to up your weight okay reduce the repetitions and have more rest between your sets that makes sense <laughs> i know that makes sense so yes as easy as abc and again everything boils down to the kitchen boils down to your diet boils down to what type of food you're eating you have to um, up your protein intake okay guys um in order for you to actually see the results okay it's not about i'm going to say it's 80 percent the gym no it's 80 percent your diet and 20 percent gym okay because you can do all the hard work but if your diet is crappy then you can't out outwork a bad diet as simple as that so i'm going to say in order for you to increase your muscle Guys, that was a complete fail. Like, if you can hear my plate just just shattered, like my eggs just fell down. Like, I can't do this. So, the next question, which is going to be, um, what kind of training do I need to lose weight, guys? I'm going to say that, you know, don't shy away from the weights because actually, when you do weight training, you're actually burning calories even after your workouts. Like, can you believe that? Even while resting, you're still burning calories throughout the day and even the next day. So, I'm going to say more of weight training but again hey you can incorporate some cardio training like you can do um you can do swimming you can do running you can do you know speed walking so there are a lot of um you know you can do the speed bike so there are a lot of cardio workouts that you can do to lose weight but i'm going to say don't shy away from the weights actually lift weights because you're going to be burning way more calories even after working out so the ninth question is when should I stretch and how often guys again I think I've, I've said something about stretching but I'm going to say that try to stretch every single day like myself included like you know I don't do this every single day which I should be doing this because I actually live a very very active lifestyle so I'm going to say that even if like you're not as active as as I am it's always good for you to stretch like you want to stretch. especially if you do a kind of job that you sit like on an office bench during your breaks, you can just stand up and do some stretches using your chair or just your body weight, like just stretch. So I'm going to say that you can stretch out. It's always good to stretch. Like if you can do that every single day, that's going to be perfecto. Last question is what ways can I um, help sore muscles? So if you suffer from sore muscles like I do, you know, we just can't help it. Like if you're into fitness, you are going to have sore muscles, even if you're not into fitness. One of the ways that some of the ways that you can help with sore muscles is number one drink a lot of water guys i can't even begin to tell you the benefits of water okay drink a lot of water um increase your protein intake because protein is what is going to repair those damaged muscles okay you definitely need your protein you need your eggs you need your chicken you need your fish and so on and so forth and then you know some people say you can soak in epsom salt which is something that i haven't done yet but yeah like i'm going to say water up your protein intake stretch and um if you can do foam rolling massages there's just so many things that you can do to help relieve your soul muscles so yeah i hope that i was able to answer these questions and i hope that i did stay on track i didn't deviate from the questions um yes guys if you did enjoy this q a make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and keep being yourself keep being you keep being kind keep being active get off your butt and work out and take care guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye